The global pressure on fresh water intensifies as we speak. Energy efficiency is crucial to make alternative sources of fresh water viable. Hello, my name is Mark Perry and I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Aquaporn Asia, a subsidiary of the Danish cleantech company Aquaporn AS. The last three years we've been working together with DATI Singapore on the project Aquaporn based biomimetic membranes for water reuse and desalination, which was funded by the environment and water industry here in Singapore. Nature has developed a highly efficient way of transporting water through the aquaporin protein. Our company's goal is to commercialize aquaporin based water membranes for industrial water applications. In the following illustration, I give you an introduction to the aquaporin protein and how our company, Aquaporin AS, is utilizing aquaporin to make highly productive aquaporin inside water membranes for industrial water treatment applications. Our macroscopic measuring techniques are able to determine the combined effects of all the aquaporins working in the membrane surface, but not the nanoscale effects of individual aquaporins. And we would gain significant insight into how our membranes work if we could somehow visualize this. This is where DHI came in. Hello, my name is Goran Goranovic, and I'm a physicist from DHI working on a biomimetic membrane. In order to illustrate what Mark has just said, I have here with me a very simple model of a biomimetic membrane. On the top, there is an active layer which rejects the salt, and on the bottom is a support layer. Active layer in biomimetic membrane is enriched with spherical compartments that contain the proteins, and in reality, they are of course not being seen, but they are fully immersed in the active layer. From the model, we can see that the distance between the compartments, their distribution in the active layer, but also the distribution and concentration of proteins within each of the compartments are variables that can be optimized. Furthermore, the company is making the measurement on the overall composite system and they wanted to know a little bit more detailed picture of the flow of salt and water through the active layer. Uh, we have performed theoretical study and computational fluid dynamics of the active part and the most critical uh, part in the entire study was to link the vastly disparate length scales of the molecular behavior of proteins with microscopic fluid flow. I highly recommend DHI CFD expertise to anyone who needs a deeper understanding of fluid dynamics. DHI CFD work has definitely given us a better understanding of how our own membranes work. This may very well result in significant improvements of the aquaporin inside technology.